Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Guys, last episode we built and set up our very own little recycling room. We had a few little issues, but I finally figured them out and it makes so much sense and it's so pretty cool. So for everyone who's given some suggestions on how to fix it, thank you very much. Some of you got close to the fix, some of you were like... Tell me to do stuff that kind of wasn't related to it. It's quite hard to try and work out why something doesn't work when it's a mod. That's very difficult. And a lot of you guys felt frustrated about it, just like I felt frustrated about it. But I figured it out, guys. I found the way it works. Now, I'll get on to it in just a moment. I just want to show you. Uh, I've kind of completed the visitation room. So now they come in. And you can go to the visitors with no boost, but you can ultimately sit down at the table too. Now, the reason I put the tables in is because you can't have a visitation room without these tables and chairs, weirdly enough. But if they choose to go to this one, it means they can't pass contraband through, which is a really, really cool idea of expanding the gate down here too. So I always mean you want to kind of increase the infirmary and morgue and uh, in those areas. So enough about that. I want to go to the recycling room. Remember we've seen all this trash building up? It's still building up. Now, as you can right see, the recycling room is now working. Workers work in there, cleaners work in there, and our prisoners work in there. What they do is they get the trash bags, they sort it out, and they find stuff like dirty uniforms, uh, uh, prison tray plates, wood, uh, license plates, books. And what that does, they recycle it and use it back in the prison. So if they're finding like sheets of metal, license plates, wood, they'll sell it and we'll get a profit. If they're finding uniform, they'll clean it and give it to a prisoner. Now, for everything that gets recycled, it means the prison doesn't have to buy new stuff. So it doesn't mean these books here, I don't have to buy 13 books. They're going to get recycled. I don't have to buy the trays. I can export the wood. It works perfect. Now, how do I get to fix it? Well, it all takes place in the canteen. And I want to expand this through the, through the uh, prison anyway. We have these, which are known as trash bins. We've got trash bins there right now, which are completely different to normal bins. So I've seen a few guys, uh, people comment saying, put bins down. Uh, I tried that, these normal bins, the green ones, but then I realized, hold on, when you type in bin, you get uh, trash bin 10 bags, trash bin 20 bags, trash bin 30 bags, recycling bin. And I've currently got down, I think it's the, the 10 or 30, I think I've got the 30 ones there. So the trash bin is different from a normal bin. A trash bin gets all those bags of rubbish, as you can now see, puts it in the bin. Once the bin gets filled up with 30 bags, 20 bags, 10 bags, whatever you've chosen it to be, it then all goes to the recycling area, gets sorted, and that's literally how it works. You just use a different type of bin, the mudded bin. That's literally what you do. So in various areas where we have these garbage bags in, I'm going to be dropping now in some trash bins are they called yeah tra they're called trash bins that's what literally what they're called so we have um what seems to be going on over here armistice you play every so child can i don't know what this is and it literally scaring the heebie-jeebies out of me um i was just uh we're ended they were trying to affected by the war today oh that's pretty cool that is pretty cool. Not now, though. That is pretty dope. How they kind of throw that in with the mod. So, what are they actually doing with this, then? They're doing something with the table. Which, not only is it 100% creepy, but it's pretty cool. I can't want to get rid of it, though. It's going to mess up my prison. So, can I, I can't even dismantle this, can I? Well, I've clicked, I've clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. That's why. So, you can't even click right to, to make high priority. I don't even know what they're doing right now in this. This is really weird. We can dismantle it. Can't even dismantle it. That's actually pretty cool. So I bet you that's only there for this time while this kind of uh, War Children UK banner is kind of going on. That's actually pretty dope. But we'll keep it in anyway. Because I can't really get rid of it. So we need space in these trash bins then. So let's go back to it. Trash bins. And we do the 30 bags. So it gives it time to fill up. We'll place some outside of here. So we do like two there. Uh, we seem to have some in the infirmary, so I'll drop one in there. Now, where else do we see them appear? Um, we get some there. Eventually, they do get cleaned up, so you ain't got to worry about them too much. Uh, we'll do okay. We'll do one there, one. Oh, I can't place it in there because they they own the common room, don't they? I forgot about that. 
But over time, they'll eventually get disa well, they'll disappear anyway. So if I place them there and there, and we'll just let them get in. That's actually, I mean, that's so cool. How, I mean, it, it's cool it's not cool, because like, it's scary how the mod can do that to your game. But at the same time, it is pretty pretty cool as well how, you know, they, they added in charity to it. I don't know much about it or what it is or anything like that, but here's what it is, right? Okay, so we've got the prison all up and running then. We're going to fast forward for a little bit then, get this all up and running going. It, it, it gives you money because you get exports. It recycles, so it means you don't have to buy stuff, so you're buying stuff less. It's really, really handy. And over time, if you wouldn't notice from last time, over time the garbage does go down. It just takes a while because they've got to sort it to get new garbage and so on and so on. So we got a little bit of money for exports there, which is pretty dope. So what we're going to do today then is we're going to try and build some more cells. Uh, I want to ultimately, if I go to materials now, get this wall all the way across. Just to kind of close it up for now so I can get rid of these fences and we can create a secondary yard. That's kind of semi what we want. I'm also going to, uh, where's the objects? Dismantle objects, dismantle these doors. And where is it? Demolish walls. We're going to demolish all these walls because we're going to make the infirmary so much more bigger. So I need to demolish those. I'll demolish that one as well because we're going to expand it anyway. And then white floors. We sh should we just wait for him to get it all done? And get it all in? Or am I just being impatient right now? I'm, I'm kind of slightly being impatient, aren't I? So how's the, rec the recycling's going good. We're getting the odd export and stuff like that, which is really, really handy. Let me see if the... Yeah, a few more garbage bins have disappeared from there. It's, it's working, guys. It's literally working. I like it. Right, materials then. Oh, we shouldn't have really got... No, we need to expand the morgue slightly as well. Because we do get quite a few dead bodies here and there. Rooms. So, for the... We got, oh, we got escapes. Infirmary. We'll space this out. To there. The morgue we'll space out as well. I'll just kind of pause it so we can get what we need in. Throw down some more slabs. Medical beds. There we go, just space them out every so often. One there, one there. We can drop some here as well. Right, that's good. There's quite a few there now. And we've got some escapes. We've got 10 doctors. We're going to up that now to 15 doctors. Yeah, I spent a lot of money, but it increases the infirmary. gets it all done, up and running. So we've got some escapes then. Escapees. Remove tunnels. Oh, man, it's that whole little section there, isn't it? Damn, man. They got us good. They got us so good right there. Now, the downside about the fact the, the recycling thing is now in is the fact that um, workers also help out with the cleaning. See, that's now, it's going down over time, as you can now see. It just takes time to do it. Workers now help out with the cleaning. So as long as they're helping out with the cleaning, they're not building stuff. So, which is also kind of semi-annoying. We've only got, we've got 11 workmen anyway. So we don't really have that many. So when, yeah, I was about to say, when I get a little bit more money, we'll get some more workers. There we go. I've hired four more workers, so we've now got 15. Right, have we had more escapees? Yeah, more of have now escaped. I'm still waiting for them to clean, no, get rid of that tunnel. That's the only downside. Now, uh, this is the downside I'm seeing to recycling. Yeah, it's perfect because you get loads of money in return and exports and, you know, it recycles. It's good. But it, it kind of takes up our workers. And that's kind of annoying. But once they get the infirmary and morgue done, they'll get focusing on everything else, so it's all good. That thing's now disappeared. Have you noticed? Where did that go? Nobody knows. I've never noticed it before in my life. Maybe it's always been coming and going, and I just haven't noticed it. But it was pretty cool, wasn't it? That was pretty cool. Alright, so the garbage in the kitchen is nearly all gone. It's crazy. At this point, we're going to run out of things to recycle. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Right, okay. What are the workers doing now, then? Because they seem to have done 
pretty much the whole infirmary slash morgue there. It's all nicely expanded. Uh, we've got nobody waiting for uh, solitary. The prison's quite low in terms of its like anger levels. They might now rise and we get a riot, but normally we got loads of people waiting for like solitary. Oh, about yeah. Th like, as I say that, it now kicks off. Oh dear God! What is actually going on here? An intelligence is it gang related? Yeah, red and green, um, red and blue gang. And the riots kicking over here. The blue gang own a lot of stuff. The only reason the green gang it doesn't have anything because they don't have the manpower as like blue gang does. Right, it's a good job we just like increased the infirmary, isn't it? It's a good job we increased that. We've now got quite a bit of money, but I'm still waiting for our workers to actually get done what I need them to get done. It's all kicking off again, guys. It's all li literally kicking off again. There's been three deaths today. Oh my good god. New prisoners now arriving. It's a shambles. It's an absolute shambles. <laughs> right, we should look at then blueprints wise. Planning to get some new cells in. So we'll kind of start up here then. So this is gonna be a corridor. Um should we have it as a corridor? We've got the paving there. Kind of going out and it will stop there as he enters. And we could have a really wide corridor or I kind of change it up a little bit. I'm not too sure how I want to tackle this. No, what I do want, sorry, sorry, sorry guys, is I want the pathway to be going around it like that. I've only just realized how I wanted it. Like that. And then we build stuff off it. So ultimately we'll have then a corridor going down like that there and then we kind of build cells off it so what type of cells do we go for now we have not some i want some like really really nice ones do we have any luxury cell what's the luxury cell like it's here i can't remember where it was so we got like top cell Ooh, they look really good six okay six by six that's what they are so six by six, and there'll be one there. So six by six. I just want to see how many six by sixes we can get in. Okay, so we kind of fall short a little bit, so it doesn't really work like that. Now, what if I got one in there? Six by six, six by six, six by six, six by six. Hmm. What other types do we have? Six by oh six by five could work. Again, let's try that out. So I want to keep it in line with what we've currently got. So six by five. Six by five. Six by five. Oh, that fits in perfect. Load of six by fives like that. Okay, we've got more deaths and stuff. They're still rioting, which is not great. So that kind of filters in there, the little corridor. And then... I'm trying to think now. If I quick build that 6x5, what is it? Number Was it number 10? No, number 9. The doors are there. Because I've also got to think about me the metal detectors as well. So if you had it like that, and then the metal detectors go there, the door goes there. It's semi what we had kind of previously before, but it's not. Right, six by five. That ultimately goes up like that. Okay, so we've got one there like that. And I kind of want to do the same over here. I'm just trying to work it out. It's really difficult to try and work stuff like this out. So we have the two gap there and it ends there. And it would, it would be the same over here, wouldn't it? Just let me uh, kind of zone all that in. So that is in total 6 by 25. So if we do 6 by 25 there, two gap. 
6 by 25. There we go. And then we can kind of get away with the same on this side. So 6 by 25. 6 by 25. And then we turn all this section in here into a common room. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Creates a one wide gap there. What if we did it like this? Two jail doors going in. Like that. And that creates... Because then they're going to have their own little shower rooms. That creates a nice big common area. And we'll play around with that idea. So, for now... For now, I want to change the wall up, don't I? So, we're going to get rid of the current outer wall. Which, they still haven't built that one. Is it... Why? It doesn't matter anyway, because we're now going to cancel it. And we're going to build this new wall in. So let's put the little sticky out bits. Walls. Have we got enough for the foundations? Not really. <laughs> we need quite a bit of money for that. So we'll let it play out then. We'll let it play out. Because that is, that is the goal. That's where we're heading uh, today. Is building all that up. But we just need to get our workers in the zone. We need to get them in the zone. And then hopefully we can complete one of these grants and then move on to the next one. That's a nice little cash boost as well, that. You know, 80 prisoners. Right, so it's currently work slash free time. So our workers are still doing their, like, getting all the trash bags. Once all the trash bags have been collected, our workers will then become free. It's because we let the trash build up for so long. You know, it's just what it is what it is. Right. I'm just trying to watch out for a worker now to kind of come and finish up or get rid of these the, the, the holes here. Well, oh, one's moving along now, so he's either... I think he's coming probably to build the wall. Sounded like Donald Trump there, didn't I? Damn, boy. Right, the prison is calm right now. A lot of them still have serious complaints, and we still haven't satisfied all their needs yet. It's just going to get there slowly. What is their needs? So a lot of them complain about food. Food's being cooking, so that'll be satisfied soon. Family, recreation. Uh, they already have the ability to go for visitations. We might need to put in more phone booths, maybe some in the yard. For family needs. Recreation. That's stuff like, um, you know, passing the times by with common areas and stuff like that. That, again, it comes down slowly over time. Hygiene as well. I mean, it's just that, that stuff is up to them what they want to do in their free slash work time period. Right, are the workers free yet, guys? Are they free? Will somebody come and plug up this hole? Right, I'm going to have to put down some more workers. Let's just get up to 20 now. Right, that one's done that one. Right. Okay, I've got 20 workers. Now we've got that tunnel discovered. We'll now remove the tunnel. So we've got an additional five more workers, so hopefully they can take the load of the workers that are not actually doing anything. <laughs> We're getting this wall in now. I need to demolish this wall. So, hasta la vista to you. And then we have to get all them foundations in, which are going to be crazy. Oh my good god, it's going to be a lot of foundations in the prison. But it's going to work out nice. It's going to work out nice, guys. I've left corridors up here for future expansions going backwards. Which is all good. So once you've got enough money, because we're getting close, it just keeps going up and up and up. We've got a load of exports about to go out now. Once you get the money, I'm dropping down those foundations and we're going crazy with them. Alright, finding some narcotics and stuff there. That truck's about to head on its way out. So once I complete these grants, we'll then start to look towards having our guards with more ammunition on them, <laughs> so to speak. To be able to handle certain situations. 
Right, I can afford to get all that in now. So objects, we go on a jail door. No, not there. Oh, damn, I've cancelled it. Right, hold on. Foundations. Let's try that again. There. So we want foundations there, 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 and there. And objects-wise, we need jail doors there, 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 there. And we have one. We kind of want one there, but do I place it down here? Nah, because all, all the other ones, like this little outlet there, doesn't stick out. So we'll keep it like that. Mm, no, I'm going to foundation it. Because they could walk, easy walk. We'll put some metal detectors up there anyway, but they could easily walk around and whatnot. So we'll make sure we got this all set up. Large jail door. Nice. Okay, it's a lot of stuff we're now telling them to get done with our small workforce, considering that most of them are dedicating themselves on getting recycling. But we'll get somewhere. Look at all that stuff now. Even the guards are coming in to help out. That's how much stuff is currently in here that we need to get out. Damn, boy, there is so much stuff in here, isn't there? It is kind of crazy. Right, anyone working on it? Not yet. There is so much stuff from recycling. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the only issue we had. Because we've got the recycling set up at a later stage and we let the, all the garbage build up, there is just so much stuff they've got to go through until they find a balance where they're recycling as much as they're producing. At, right at the moment, it's just so much that got produced, we just kind of got to get rid of it. It is a bit over the top, isn't it? It is a little bit. Damn, boy. So much stuff. I, I mean, it's crazy the guards are helping out. I mean, it helps us because it's less workmen, but even though the workmen are still doing the job for us. It's just so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Just watching them come in and moving stuff around and changing stuff. Right, it's currently sharing sleep time for certain inmates. They no one's no one's touched this. This is and it's kind of annoying, isn't it? The workers don't even want to touch it. Come on, workers! Wow, so much foundations and concretes ready to go. And no worker wants to touch it. This is great stuff, guys. Great stuff. <laughs> we will get it done. We will get it done. It's just, they're liking the recycling. It's like they prioritize the recycling over everything. So some of them had their showers. Again, you got to remember, food's high, but they all have food at different... Oh, they finally built it. They all have food at different times. Now it's the high security prisoners having their food. So these guys, you know, will get satisfied. A lot of them are still having sleep. When these guys are finished with their food, the next type of prisoner will come in. So you see bladder now going down a bit. You see hygiene start to get down a bit now as the other prisoners wake up. Everyone's on different schedules. Warmth is ridiculous. Oh, we don't, nobody's warm in the prison. And that that's going to cause some problems, some big problems. We really need our guards as well to have tasers at some point. So we've really, really got to try and build an armory. But it's one of those things. What do you do when the workers... Are just slacking at the moment. You know what we do, guys? We hire. So we got 30 workers. That's what we do. An extra 10 workers. Right now. Uh, oh, somebody say 40 workers? There you go. An extra 20 workers to actually get some stuff done. It's heavily needed. There's not a lot we can do about this. And those extra 20 workers so then clear up. <laughs> Pretty much they're recycling even more so. Even more so. So that dude's going crazy in there. Um, deployments now. Guard patrols. You don't have one in the, in the new designated visitation room. Ooh, so we'll get one in there. We've got some in the shower, some in the canteen. We should make this extend that little bit further now. There we go. Uh, where else are we going to need it? The holding cell maybe? Solitary could do with one. There we go. Let's extend this further down so that guard can go to and from both gates. Um, 
Yeah, we're kind of okay-ish for now. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, how are we doing over here then? It's, it's almost all done. Oh, how is the... Okay, that's got all the capacitors we can actually physically put on it, and it's over halfway. So that can still manage a ton of stuff. There we go. That's now being built. So with that now being built, what we now do is we demolish these walls. So that's like an entrance way in. And then we demolish these fences. So it's free to get in and out. We've got this new yard set up. We're going to lock open these doors. There we go. Uh, we need metal detectors. And metal detectors to there. Oh, I ran out of money. Fine, I ran out of money. We should have the money very soon. So by having an extra yard, then I'll crammed in the one. More space to run about. Eases tensions. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Right, waiting for some more exports, guys. Can you export some more stuff, please? The truck's coming now to export some more stuff. And then we need to... Uh, so once we got all the metal detectors in the... We don't need to put metal detectors there. I just put two here. Because that's how you enter into this area. Because there'll be a wall going up. We don't really need them there. So I've got enough now, so I can drop another one in. There we go. So we want to try and complete that grant, really, don't we? We do want to try and complete that grant. So if I just pause it for a second and go to uh, quick build. So it was, was it nine? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, so if we start here then. Oh, I can't do it because I, I got insufficient funds anyway. So we just went to put up some funds, because the sooner we can get that grant done to raise our capacity to 80, uh, we've only got 10% left to go. We'll get a nice 22,000 increase boost from it, which would be fine and dandy. It's more than 2,000 to build at each cell, so I'll wait till I've got a, kind of a little bit more. Then I'll just kind of put myself into a slight little bit of debt to get it done. So could we get away with it now? We'll go quick build. Yes. So, I'm going to put myself into debt. Which, at the moment, it's fine. Make sure I get all the cells in the right places. We're going to be in so much debt when we get this in. But the sooner we can get that grant completed, the better. Right, have the cells now going this way. So these are quite luxurious cells. And what we're going to see when we get these in is gang members then starting to fight for these cells. Because they're considered more luxurious. And it's what they're going to want to fight over. So rooms now, we're going to get a, another kind of um, common room in. And we'll kind of get this in here. And we'll zone it like that so it doesn't kind of touch each area. And that's going to put me in a lot of debt. Bam. The debt should be incoming consistently. <laughs> As they try and build stuff in now for this. But we'll get close to completing that, that grant. And then we've got all the monies. And then all that money will be spent on building the rest of the cells. But then we'll get close to completing the next grant, which is really, really good. <laughs> So is this going to be a constant battle now of earning money, spending money? Of course it is. But these cells are going to be really perfect. Something we haven't done in a while is a, it's a shakedown. Uh, I won't do it just yet. One, we don't have the manpower for it. And it's just going to cause a, ma a huge amount of problems and delays in getting this kind of new building area set up. So I exported 3,800 and I've gone back dramatically into debt just trying to get all the materials for this. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. But that's going to be so cool when it's done. It's going to be so cool when it's done. 
Right, we've got 900 dollars coming in the morning just from the free prisoners that will be arriving. We've got more exports to go out. So we will be making some of that sweet Mooney. Can't complain too much. Prisoners' wages just got paid. Exports went out. Damn, boy. Can we get some more recycling done, please? <laughs> uh, why is the baggage kind of cleaning looking like now? So all the bags are pretty much gone. How cool is that? There's just bacon on the floor. Uh, they're going to pick it up and still cook it and serve it to the prisoners. All the bags out here are gone. We had quite a few in the uh, infirmary, which are now gone as well. So the prison is pretty much cleaning up the baggage now. So which is why the workers are now focusing on building stuff, because they can. We're now up to 92% complete. Slowly but surely, we'll be getting there, guys. 77% complete on the 98, uh, 96 capacity. So they're just doing stuff one by one. It's going to take some time to get this all in. But we get ever closer to completing those grants. Right. So it's shower time now for some of our prisoners, the maximum security. So again, they're now waking up to start their brand new day. Tensions are rising a little bit. Are they still cold again? Is it a cold day? Uh, warmth? No, not really. Now you see food, hygiene and sleep. Because I see one, se one security is sleeping, one security is eating and the other security is cleaning themselves. So it's just kind of funny to see it all change at once there. It just goes back and forth. Recreation and family is something that we need to sort out the most. I need to put more phone booths in the yard. I just need to have more phone booths in general. So, oh, they're kicking off again. Look at them. Can you just not go one breakfast without kicking off? Please. This is never going to happen, is it, guys? Did we not dismantle this? Apparently we didn't dismantle that. We had three deaths today, oh my god. But it does mean it's going to up how many prisoners come into the prison. And we get a nice little cash boost from that. There we go, and it gets spent straight away. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Right, okay. So I want to check out now then the programs. Programs, programs, programs. Programs and seeing how much stuff got completed. So still nothing for the carpentry just yet. We don't have the carpentry tables in. We've had 56 finish the workshop safety. Oh, boys. 66 finished the kitchen hygiene safety. So quite a few people can actually now work. Seven completed the behavioral therapy. Now garbage and recycling, I don't need as many of these now. Let's keep it down to one. Look at that, 124 finished it, so they can do recycling. Pot making, 22 are finished, but we're still waiting for them to make some pots. God damn it. How to cook? Quite a few people completed all this stuff. So is there anything else like, oh, spiritual guidance, having a chapel in, that will really help out the prisoners. Uh, weed farming, that's hilarious. Bookkeeping, fitness group. What requires that? It's just led by a janitor in a yard. Can I get that done? Where is it? No teacher for how to cut? Requires a barber in a barber shop. Do we not have a barber in a barber shop? Wait, what happened to our barber? Have we had a dead barber? Oh, we have a free office. I think a barber's got caught in a riot. And I can't hire a new one yet either. Right, just remember that. We got the fitness group up and running. There's like 78 in the queue to get it to get it going. It's quite an early one. We'll see how that kind of works, and considering it's quite early. I don't know how it's gonna. Right, just remember we haven't got a barber. Right, how are these sales coming along? It's like they're focusing on getting everything set in or kind of built up first before they even do any of the walls. It's a weird one. 
Uh, these guys are making us some sweet, sweet license plates and stuff. So we can export all of those. How is the gang situation then? So I'm going to check prison labor. It's all looking good. Uh, okay, deploy. No, intelligence. Gangs. They've taken. Blue gang's still killing it. They've got. Wow! 238 cash money moonlights in the bank. Which they can buy so many luxuries for all their members. That's crazy. And this is all down to the fact that they have more members. Because the green gang's got a leader. It's just they can't overpower the blue gang in any area. There will be a new common room and yard pretty much up for grabs very, very shortly. Once I get all the stuff inside of it to make it worth its while. So that's going to be pretty exciting to see him fight over that. Do you have any informatives? Informant, should I say? So skilled fighters, gang members, snitch. Okay, he's a snitch. You can normally get them to like work for you. But they have to like kind of just like, you know, sometimes it's like if they've just come fresh out of a uh, stint in like solitary or something like that, you can do that. So contraband in the last so many hours. Not that much contraband is being detected or found, but I bet you there is so much in the prison once they do a lockdown. I probably is, yeah. So we're not far off because they've now got all these bunch of these walls down then, so they're not far off completing some of these cells. We're down minus 9,000 in the hole. We need one of these grants to get done so bad. 98%. Oh, there we go. We got it done. Nailed it. And as soon as we got it done, we're back into debt. But that's giving me a lot of money to buy loads of stuff. And we're now 94% of the way to completing the next grant. Which is really good. These cells are so luxurious. Can you Can we find out room quality? Wow, seven. These ones at the moment, the best one at the moment is a two. And you can see here, the dude in that one requires, he wants a, sal a, a quality of six. We've also completed that other ground, by the way. They got sevens. Some of them are sevens. They'll, they'll keep going up as they get the rest of the stuff built in. But this is going good then. Okay, so we're now we're making some progress. We need to get the pipe in him. So we'll run piping up here. And bring it across. Run some piping down there. Down there. Down there. And let's hook up the ones that are not to it at the moment. There we go. They should all be hooked up. Uh, we're going to need the electricity now running through here. So have it go down there. This one go down the center. That one go down the center too. Um, oh, damn it. I canceled that one. That one goes down there. I need to run that one across as well for all the... Uh, how much have I got? 7,000. For all the metal detectors I'm now going to need. So two there. Two there. And then we rotate for two there. There we go. We found him, oh, there's been a death and drugs found and stuff like that. So we'll let the workers, again, we've given him so much more stuff to now do and get placed in. We'll let him finish all that up. It's brought my capacity now up to 167. Really good, really good stuff. We've got 2,000 in the bank. Now, while the prisoners are sleeping, let's do a shakedown. It's badly needed, a shakedown. All this stuff we're now going to find. So many like batons from the guards they've been getting. We found a tunnel currently being built. Wow, we found an even bigger tunnel that they're on their way to building and fixing there. Damn. Well, we get that in. That kind of squashed straight away. So they're not going to be happy about this. But the next day when they wake up properly, we shouldn't. Ha the, the, the riots shouldn't be as bad. Hopefully. As I say that. We'll see the guards will now come over to this new area. There's a bunch of deaths and stuff as they're all fighting. It's kicking off again, guys. Oh my good god. 
Oh my good god, there's rights have it. Because they're not happy about the shakedown. They're not happy, but we need to get rid of all of the uh, contraband that they have. They're not going to like it, but it's going to reduce the prison over time. Okay, so it's all kicking off then. We're going to have to now get the emergency services and the right. I get two riot police in. Oh, I can't afford to get them in. So it's, it, it's it's a it's a full on right at the moment until the the guards can handle it. All right, there's a few more places left to uh, search, and a lot of it is down here, which they're on the way to getting done. And it's going to put a lot of yeah, it's going to I'm about to say it's going to put a lot of people in solitary for what they're going to find. It's ridiculous, man. Oh, because I, I, I cancelled that thing previously. I've got no water going to, or some being supplied to all of this. There we go. Right, we got the 100 now for the emergency services. We're just getting some riot police coming in. Right, I want them over here first. Kind of sort out what's going down over there. All right, they've handled that situation perfectly. We've almost got all the areas searched. And we have found a ridiculous amount of contraband. It's a ridiculous amount. But we've got it though. I'll right, get rid of the shakedown now. Riot police can go home. So many injured. So many waiting for solitary. It's crazy. Right, wait if you got all this piping in. Materials. We're going to focus now quickly on getting the... Where's the concrete floor? There we go. Concrete tiles in. So we want that all in. So we keep this running. How much is it going to cost me anyway? 2,000. Bring it down to here. Let's get these rooms. Not all of them are going to have. Well, no, they're not going to have concrete flooring inside of them. We just need to get them all up and running. Spending all my money. Can I have that go that to there? Have this come down. There we go. Right, that's as much I'll take it for the, the flooring. I'm actually getting that in pretty quick, which I'm very impressed with. Right, do we have power? We don't have any lights going down here. Let me just get some lights. Get some lights in this little corridor over there, and same here. Nice to have some lights in. Same up here too. It's very dark in these little corridors, isn't it? Cool thing about this is we've got all these lights. Like in storage. So it's also you've got three lights on the go. There we go. We've got two more to use. Where should I use them? Where else is it dark? Oh, one over there. I'm just finish one here. There we go. That's all our lights and storage, and now got up and running. So we've got the grey flooring in there. Now this is a different cell block wing. So do I go grey or do I go for a different colour? We should go for a different colour, shouldn't we? Should we try yellow? Yellow flooring. I ain't got enough funds for that. What's it? Oh, that one's not connected. There we go. We're going to try the yellow flooring in this area. See how it looks. All of our workers are going all crazy, like doing Mexican waves right then. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does look pretty good. I'm just waiting for my next boost in income. Nice little 500 there. Uh, materials... Cost 100 per square meter. So we'll get those rooms done. Because <laughs> that's all I can afford to get done. Number 500 in. Bam. We'll do these rooms. Waiting for the exports again. Look how much, you know, karma the recycling area looks. It does, doesn't it? Right, 
Right. How far are we now with the, with the yellow flooring? Do these rooms. And just this section. So it costs 120 per room. That's what it costs. 120 per room. So we get those in. And we can get that one in as well. I'm about to say, now we play the waiting game again. Four rooms left to go, guys. Four rooms left to go. There we go. All rooms now done. Right. Objects-wise for the common room, we've got some benches in storage, so we can use those. Like that. We do... Like that. What else do we have in storage? That we could use for the common room. Because the benches are good. We'll just throw a load of benches down like that. So they can just sit and chill in there. We'll throw some other stuff in there eventually. But just for now, to kind of pad it out and give it some, you know, sustainability for that common room, uh, we're throwing in benches so they can sit down and chill out. But I think that's where we call it for today. It's been quite a long episode, and that's primarily down to the fact that it took so long to get stuff built. And that's because all our workers were focusing on doing the uh, recycling more than anything. We've got the new cell area now all set up. If I go to now the uh, logistics room quality, they're all sevens. Some of these are eights, but that's because they've got windows that go outside, so they enjoy that a little bit more. So we're going to see some fights and things take over and changes in the prison. So gang members can get into these cells because that's what that's you know what they want. They ultimately want the best cells. So you'll see a few things change uh, in the prison. Let me see how that goes. Uh, we need to build a new canteen so we can have not so many prisoners in that one canteen because that's where the majority of the riots are being caused. A lot of them get caused down here, but if the guards had tasers, if we had armed guards, if we had dogs, that would also defuse a lot of situations. Man, it's kicking off down here, isn't it, guys? Big time. And that is what we'll focus on next, next episode in, guys. So 100%, we're going to get an armory next episode and get all of our prison guards to have tasers. That will defuse riots and, you know, deflate situations a whole lot quicker. It will. 100% it will. And I'm quite excited for that. And if you are too, guys, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you subscribe. And as this riot kicks off, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.